Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. And hello ladies and gentlemen, everyone watching, this is Running On Empty Food Review, and I am your host, the Report of the Week. You know, it was one of those days, one of those, uh, one of those fascinating, interesting days uh, where I was kind of perusing, you know, and this is what I always do, right? I was perusing through the, uh, the fast food news sites and, you know, seeing what people are talking about, what new releases there are. And, you know, sometimes there's things out there that really, like, they grab my attention, you know? If there's, like, this real big publicized release that's making headlines and everyone just you know, forget about what else is going on in the world, let's focus on this release, uh, of course, I'll just be all over that. And then you get those weeks where, eh, there's, you know, there's not really anything that, that captivates, you know? Nothing that really draws me in. So I think, all right, well, what, what do I have on my mind? Let's say there's no new releases out or nothing that I really want to pursue. What should I do? And I was thinking about Little Caesars. As a matter of fact, I've been thinking about Little Caesars for the last few days. And I thought to myself, why don't I go and re-review one of their items. Especially one of the things that I like, you know, really when I go to Little Caesars, this is what I get. This is probably my favorite item from Little Caesars. And it was just a fascinating, it just came to me. The extra most bestest pizza. Now I can't believe that it's already been two years since uh, they actually introduced it to the menu, but it has. And it's just one of those things that's like, it's mind-blowing. Because I remember when I first reviewed it, I thought to myself, all right, this is just going to be a gimmick. It's just going to be one of those things that it's going to be there for two weeks and then it's gone. But it was actually a permanent addition to their menu. And I think at the time, during the original review that I did for it, I didn't really know that. You know, I thought it was just going to be one of these limited releases and not a permanent staple at the Little Caesars menu. So, two years later, I'm back. We are back. We got the, uh, the pizza portal right there. And uh, within this, this orange mechanism is apparently an extra most bestest pizza. And really what I'm going to determine, and I'm going to do it with impartiality. Yes, while this may be my favorite pizza from Little Caesars, if this isn't a good pizza, I'll be straight up and I'll say, look, this doesn't taste good. And if it still, you know, meets or exceeds the, the aforementioned standards, I'll let you know about that too. So really, we're just going to see, all right, how is it after two years? And uh, we're going to find out. So first, for this uh, momentous occasion, I decided to break out the chalice here. Doing a little preliminary sipping. There we go. And let's see what we got. Now, the price for this... Six dollars. Six dollars, that's all that there is to it. So here's what it looks like. You can see it is a, uh, you know, a good-sized pizza. It still does have that pepperoni coverage that they uh, really did emphasize when they first were releasing it. I'm going to I'm gonna hide behind the pizza so all you see is, is this. You know, you could pretend if you want that, like, I, I turned into a pizza if you want to do that. And there you can see, there, there I am. We got it, we got it, yep. But there I am, there's the, uh, there's the pizza. I mean, you can see though, what still impresses me, and I'll be, I'll be quite honest, what I see a lot of the time happening with, you know, a lot of pizza places, fast food places in general, and I think you know where I'm coming from when I say this, is they bring out a release, everything is going great at first, and then it starts slipping, you know, then it starts going downhill a little bit. And the quality kind of sinks. Uh, and that's just what happens a lot of the time. And what I was, you know, kind of expecting when I realized, you know, even a few years ago, when they first put this on the menu full time, I thought, well, it's good now, but is it going to stay good? And I'm actually surprised, I gotta say, the pepperoni coverage on this pizza, uh, like I said, I mean, there is a, a very good amount of it for what it is. I gotta give them credit on that, that they're still maintaining that standard. But let's be honest now, something can look good, but does it taste good? We're going to determine that right now. So this is a slice right there. This, uh, 
omniscient triangle. I highly doubt that it is, but, you know, that's what you want to think of it as. Otherwise, we can just call it a pizza slice. You can see that pepperoni glistening there in the unnatural light. And there's me with it, right? There I am. And uh, I'm just going to try it. I'll let you know what it tastes like. So, it is the extra most bestest pizza from Little Caesars. Still maintaining the standards? Let's find out. It's going in. I'll take a few more bites. And this is a used Little Caesars napkin, QSL card. You can see that Little Caesar there, looks like he's haul hauling a few, uh, I don't know, cement blocks or something. But you can wipe your mouth with this. My thoughts. <clears throat> Compared to what it was in 2017, I think they still are maintaining uh, those standards. It definitely is a pretty full pizza, topping-wise, where if you like pepperoni pizza, and I myself, you know, that's my favorite type of pizza. If I always, I'm always going to get something with the pepperoni on it. So with that considered, there's really good topping distribution on this pizza. The price is $6, which, I mean, you can't beat, uh, especially for, like, a large pizza with all that pepperoni on it. That's a good price, and I have to give them credit on that. The, the pizza itself, you know, everything does blend together pretty well. It's, like I said, Little Caesars, it may not be gourmet, but it certainly is tasty. Where the cheese, the pepperoni, and then that richness of the sauce certainly blends in good. Now, when I get my pizza, I always like to get it light on the sauce, and then I always get a little extra on the side if I wish to, you know, dip it in. But their tomato sauce is always very robust, it's very rich, very flavorful, and it's just an overall good accompaniment uh, to their pizza, if you ask me. And the pepperoni does add that little bit of, you know, greasy saltiness to it, as you would expect. Though not to the level as like what we witnessed with the pretzel crust pizza. You know, the salt is definitely manageable. If there's one little criticism that I do have to make, because like I said... I'll be honest, I'll be impartial. The pizza is a little on the chewy side. And if there is a, you know, if, if there was a little less chewy, I would have been a bigger fan of it. You know, this is still fresh. I mean, I rushed, <laughs> I rushed and got this set up and got all that taken care of. And pizza's just a little bit on the chewy side. Uh, but other than that, I think it still tastes pretty good. 
you know, again, one recommendation, try to get some of that marinara sauce on the side, because even if the crust is dry, you can dip it in, you can kind of add that moisture, that flavor to it. If you find it lacking, uh, they give you a good amount of sauce, and I have to give them credit on that, that it's not any prepackaged stuff, and it's, you, know, you get a good amount of it, too. I have to I have to give credit where credit is due. But yeah, if it was just... I like that firmness in the pizza, uh, but there's just, there has to be that good balance, and it was just a little on the chewy side. But overall, I mean, for what you're getting, like I said, good pizza, tastes pretty good, good amount of toppings, and uh, for $6, I still think you can't beat it. And I think that they are maintaining the standards. A lot of the time, it just it goes downhill over the years. Uh, but Little Caesars, they're still, they're still doing a good job with the extra most bestest pizza. And I think I'm going to keep getting them. So out of 10, I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to be giving this pizza an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Uh, just again, just because of that chewiness, you know. But otherwise, it's a good pizza. And I got to give them credit for it. So if you haven't tried it already, I suggest checking it out. And speaking of checking things out, make sure you check out my new podcast this Thursday. You could find it on YouTube at youtube.com slash VORW podcast. Or on Spotify and iTunes at VORW Thank you. Take care and have a great day.